Hey. Okay. So as you know, it it is Monday, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Um. So you know, I make uh, videos on Monday. Uh huh. Yeah. So um, I can't think of anything to talk about today. Can you just give me a topic? Give me, give me like, give me like a word to talk about, like for refrigerators or something, and I'll talk about that. I can do that. Chester Evans. Evans. All right. Ah. So I just got off the phone with Margot, and today's topic is toaster ovens. The Wikipedia definition of a toaster oven is to toast bread with a toaster oven. One lays a slice of bread horizontally on the tray, closes the door, and activates the toaster. When the toast is done, the toaster turns off, but the door must be open manually. Most toaster ovens are significantly larger to produce drier toast and require longer operating times. So essentially toaster ovens are big toasters, but small ovens. Personally, I never found the need for a toaster oven because I have a toaster and I have an oven. As with so many home appliances, more elaborate toasters and toaster ovens now utilize computer-controlled mechanisms in the place of electromechanical controls. Toasters are usually freestanding countertop appliances, although some toaster ovens may hang beneath cabinets. You can make toaster oven pizzas. You can cook waffles in toaster ovens and Pop-Tarts. And I think that's where my knowledge of cooking things in toaster ovens ends. The history of toaster ovens is less than interesting. So let's move on to your punishment. Margo, your punishment is to take a jar of peanut butter and rub it on your face while singing. I'm gonna put my iPod on shuffle and see what comes up. Yes, it's true that I once went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with a strike. A song about an anglerfish by Hank Green. Good luck.